Something happened to me on the last day of last year, on the last hour of the day. God bless you, by the way. <laughs> I was with my brothers and sisters and my families and my friends in the church, and we were all having our last day, New Year's Eve service. And we were all, you know, praising God and giving God the glory. And, you know, we were all, in one way or another, we were all caught up with the moment of just giving God the glory. And for some strange reason, my mind flashed and I was thinking about what I've gone through throughout the year. But I was stuck on a particular passage that I'm going to say that the Lord brought me to. Uh, the Holy Spirit guided me to, um, you are the light of the world. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, Jesus says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Um, so I read this and read it and kept reading and kept reading it, and I was like, okay, Lord, what is it that you're trying to tell me? What is it that you're trying to reach out to me? And I kept focusing on that first part. You are the light of the world. I actually have a t-shirt designed based on that passage. The t-shirt is uh, Be the Light. But a question that came to mind was, how can you be the light of the world if you don't depend on my power? I was just completely blown away by the question. I knew that the Lord was speaking to me. I knew that the Lord was ministering to me. I knew that the Lord was telling me something. And I just kept thinking and meditating on that first part. And after a few minutes, I was in awe of the question. I was, I was speechless because I knew what God was telling me. I knew what the Lord was asking me. I knew what he was pointing out to me. And it was hard to take in and accept and digest because I wasn't praying as frequently as um, I was. I wasn't reading the Bible as frequently as I was. Yes, I was in church. Yes, I was praising God. Yes, I'm serving the Lord. Yes, my life is completely changed. Yes, my life has been the, um, liberated from alcohol addiction. Yes, all these things have happened. Yet, I have not... I have not gone in deeper. And... I was just left with that question and I was like, wow, Lord. And it was hard for me to swallow. It was hard for me to accept what the Lord was telling me. After a few minutes, a second question popped up and it pertained to the same exact passage. How can you shine when you don't connect with me? Again, I was hurting inside because I knew what what the Lord's telling me. I knew what God is telling me. I knew what he was pointing to. For a few minutes, my eyes started to wander. And my eyes were wandering to the ceiling of our church. For those of you that don't know our church and are not familiar with our church, our church, the ceiling of our church um, has popcorn ceiling. It's called the popcorn ceiling. Um, with specks of glitter in it. And as I'm looking up at the ceiling, I'm realizing something. I'm noticing something. One of the questions that I asked the Lord after he asked me those two questions is I accepted what he was trying to tell me. Then I asked him, how? How do I reconnect with you? How? And it was just so simple, the, the way he responded, the way he explained it to me, the way he demonstrated it to me, that was, I was completely shocked. As I'm looking up in the ceiling, I'm noticing 
further away the glitter. But as I'm, my eyes are going from the center, um, moving closer to the wall, I notice that the specks of glitter are brighter. And all this is happening, I'm doing this whole observation, and as I'm doing this whole observation, I realize that's how. That's how you become the light of the world. That's how you shine. You get closer to the light source. You get closer to the light of the world. big moment and I understood very very deeply inside what the Lord was trying to tell me I spent the rest of the night when they were doing the countdown to bring in the new year at the altar asking God for help asking God to help me through all the difficult moments of my life, through the emotional moments in my life, through the moments that take a toll on my, my, my life and make me want to go ahead and just forget about everything, through the financial stress. That's one of the stresses that I have, one of the moments that I have that's constantly reoccurring. And right now, it's tough, you know, but... I asked the Lord to help me, and He has been helping me out, and I thank Him for that. But I've also been dealing with moments where I feel alone. I don't have the luxury or the opportunity, or I don't have that person to go ahead and chit-chat with like I used to. You know, and that one person was the mother of my child, and we're no longer together. And, you know, I feel alone. And this isn't a plea for anyone to, you know, judge me or anything like that. I mean, I, this is me opening my heart and letting you guys know. And I, I asked the Lord to help me. And I'm asking him to continue helping me, to continue working in me, to continue doing what he wants to do in me. But I know that I have to do my part in order for me to be the light of the world, in order for me to shine bright, it's not for me to go ahead and say, be the light of the world, or for me to go ahead and do things, you know, it's just for me to go ahead and rely on that light source. And in order for me to rely on that light source, in order for me to be the light of the world, for me to shine brightly, I have to get closer to the light source. In order for me to be that bright little speck of glitter, I have to be very, very close to light. So I started asking God to give me the strength for that, for me to get to that point. Give me the strength when my mind casts doubt, when my mind plays tricks on me. Give me the strength to endure. Give me the strength to get through all of it. And let me rely just on Jesus. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful day and God bless you guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you get notified when no more new videos pop up. Please, when you get the chance, hit the description below. All the links are there. You can always go to my shop, artbyrichard.com and order a t-shirt. Uh, every little bit that you order helps support this channel. Thank you guys. And again, I say God bless you.